Dragon Ball Sparking Zero has a chance to do something really funny by being something Naruto Storm Connections isn't. A good game. But seriously, Sparking Zero has the potential to be great, but for now, I'm just gonna list the bare minimum that is necessary for it to succeed. The first being the story mode, specifically needing to do the super storyline. There's no logical reason for them to rehash the DBZ story for the billionth time as it relates to other Dragon Ball games, unless they're trying to mask the idea of them having not much content in the game, resulting in the padding of the story mode. I would rather them do a special original story mode like they did in Dragon Ball Fighters, but have it actually be good this time. Couple that with some free roam aspects and maybe some optional side quests, the story mode could actually be a useful inclusion in the game. The next thing Sparking Zero needs to do in order to succeed is to have multiple versions of the same character like in Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Now that does kind of contradict one of my negatives with Storm Connections in that there were a multitude of versions of the same character where they look like they have different movesets but it all being executed with one button. The difference in Sparking Zero's case is two things. For one, it's been a staple in the Budokai Tenkaichi series, mainly in 3's case, to have characters such as Goku have versions of himself depending on when the series took place. Like early Goku, mid Goku, and end Goku. Goku for the DBZ era. I wouldn't be mad at this since it would harbor back to the original PS2 games, but this is going to lead to my next point in that the movesets need to change. Have each character pull off special moves and combos tailored to that part of the story, like have early Goku use a Kamehameha through his feet or something. And since it takes more skill to press buttons in these DBZ games when compared to the Storm games, I think this can be handled pretty well when the effort is put in. Another thing Sparking Zero needs to do to win the people's heart is to have no DLC nor a season pass. Now it's 2024, so that's going to be wishful thinking, but I'm going to put this out there since I doubt many people will speak up about it. There were around 90 or so characters, not including transformations, in the base game of Tenkaichi 3. This was in the days where when a game came out, it was actually complete and didn't need future patches or DLC to keep the game going. I would like that to happen for this game, but assuming it doesn't and it charges for DLC, then the characters would absolutely need to be drastically different from the base game's roster. If I end up playing the game and all the characters feel the same, I might as well go back to Storm Connections. Speaking of which... I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but as for the online, there needs to be online matchmaking day one. No online multiplayer game should have the nerve to charge you full price for a game and have missing features, expecting you to stay the whole ride of a game's life cycle. Storm Connections is already paying the price for that, so the developers of Sparking Zero should take note of that and stay on top of it. And given that this game has apparently been in development for 5 years, it'd be a shame if any of that time was wasted on not adding a simple feature to the game. And the final thing that would have Sparking Zero achieve greater heights would be by adding crossplay. I'm always going to be an advocate for crossplay as it's only a positive for us consumers. If I were to play on PC and fight against someone who's on PlayStation, that would be fire. Plus the game would have a better chance of having longevity since more players playing with each other means a stronger community which would keep the game going. And just by doing those 5 things, you're already 10 steps ahead of Storm Connections. Granted, it's not hard to do so when compared to that travesty the game had to deal with, but I digress. So I pass the question off to you guys. What are some other things do you want to see Sparking Zero accomplish? I'd be interested in knowing what you guys think, so let me know in the comment section below. I'm the Curly Hero Kage, and I hope you all have an amazing and blessed day. Peace.